Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Paul Scott from Corporate Register, introducing the session on reporting sustainability. We have two speakers here. I'll introduce you. Uh, we're looking at, I like to look at some of the trends and movements. What are we going to see in future years and in reporting? My company, Corporate Register, uh, represents a global database of all non-financial reports. We track 10,000 companies, but we also look and accept company, uh, reports from any company. So we have some pretty comprehensive statistics. So my introduction is going to be based on that data and those charts, to, just to give you an idea of uh, charts being a picture being worth a thousand words, etc. It would mainly be these graphs. So I'm going to look at the numbers growth, where, and what of the reporting. And starting off, re first reports around 20 years ago were very often from, the, from Europe, from the UK, environmental reports. But we've seen steady growth, which hasn't been interrupted by the recession at all. So well over 5,000 reports for 2010 that we've seen so far probably another 10% on top of that that we don't have on our database because they are in non-Latin scripts, i.e. they're only in Korean or Chinese or Japanese. We don't take those, we take any other kind of report. So you can see, you can see steady growth year on year there. The, the Europe has always led reporting. We were first off the marks right 20 years ago which has given us a lead which probably won't be um, which probably won't change now we're so far ahead so half of all reports worldwide come from Europe other regions such as uh, Southeast Asia or uh, the US started several years later and sometimes some, some cases nearly a decade later than us so they've got a lot to catch up and they don't have our momentum in uh, the same momentum that Europe has. Six, six of the top 10 reporting countries are European. You can see here in red, those are the reports just for 2010. So now that uh, a countries with, the, with economies you know, the size of the US and Japan have started reporting in earnest, they are now overtaking us in annual figures. So the US already took us, overtook the UK in numbers of reports annually two years ago. And Japan is just, just doing so now. And this is one of the most interesting slides. The next one I find is first time reporters. These are companies reporting non-financially for the first time. So you can see there are over 1,000 for 2010, which is around 20% of all published reports. Again, that growth hasn't been interrupted by the recession. These are companies that saw the recession, could have stepped back from reporting. Perhaps they hadn't publicly announced that they were going to report, but they still went ahead and, and did it. And this, for me, is another is more evidence that this has got real momentum behind it. It's expected of many companies in many leading sectors. In fact, it's more the exception. If you don't report, you're expected to explain it. What are these reports? What kind of uh, data uh, do they contain? I can explain that best by the types of reports that we've looked at. Going right back over 20 years, 20 years ago, uh, so 85%. 80% 80, 80 of these reports were purely environmental. And then as the concepts of sustainable development and corporate social responsibility uh, gained currency, you can see those wedges growing. So now that the, the, the majority of all these reports are multi-issue, not just environment, health and safety, that's down to around 10%, but looking at um, things like human rights, governance, uh, supply chain ethics, all kinds of softer issues to do with, with wider concepts. And those wedges are continuing to grow. The difference we, see, we, we differentiate between 
CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility Reports. Those are the orange ones. And S Sustainable Development, which is, the, which is the yellow ones. And the difference we make is that uh, we, we, the difference between the two is that we say that sustainable development reports have an economic financial aspect. They look at what uh, uh, impact uh, these non-financial are having on the, on the bottom line, whereas the CSR reports don't. So that's the, otherwise, the, those concepts are fairly interchangeable in terms of other uh, headings like human rights, governance, etc. The most widely used, in fact, the only global reporting framework is the, the GRI. Um, G3 was introduced in October 2006. Before that, there was a, um, a, a, a much more uh, simple framework. We've tracked GRI reports, by which we mean a report that includes a GRI contents index. So these statistics aren't exactly comparable with GRI's own statistics. We always look for the, the content index. If it isn't there, we don't class it classified as a, a GRI report. And it's even now, this 2010, 2011, around, a, around two out of every five reports has a GRI contents index. Just very gradual growth. And the final uh, slide I'd like to show on these statistics is the, a mark of um, external credibility, which is whether it's been externally verified. And I'm constantly amazed with the growth in reporting, the numbers changing so radically from a few hundred to over 5,000, and yet the percentage of reports with third-party assurances remains remarkably constant. It's hardly changed at all. Of course, we have many more statistics. I could, I could show you pages and pages for any one of these aspects, how it's broken down by sector, by country. I could say generally there's a, a broad pattern of around the world of assured reports being around 20-25% except in the US, where it's only around 7% of all US reports have been externally reassured. They seem to have a, uh, almost a fear of um, committing themselves. They see it as an element of risk to have a report that is externally verified, and that's an, an anomaly. But around the rest of the world, where everybody generally agrees that, that an assured report is a more credible one and therefore more likely to be uh, accepted by corporate stakeholders. So that's a whistle-stop tour through what is happening in sustainability reporting. Sustainability reporting being a shorthand for all those different types, environment, community, CSR reports, etc. Mm -hmm.